All right. On occasion, people ask for a vlog. You know, what my daily life looks like. My life kind of looks the same day to day, so this isn't something that I'm gonna do daily. But for some of my biggest fans, I figured I'd show you a glimpse into what, you know, a day in the life looks like for someone that writes scripts, uh, skits, scripts for skits every single day. All right, so three days out of the week, my wife does aftercare at a private school, Catholic school, private school, Catholic school. I don't know if they're the same thing. She works pretty much three hours a day, so three times three, nine hours a week. What I didn't vlog is that I dropped her off about um, an hour ago. Just got my coffee and the baby toddler, he's, he was put down for a nap. All right, so I do my skits at night. I do them from 10 to about 12 midnight or 1 a.m. I rarely do them in the daytime because I get too obsessed. So now the problem is toddlers asleep and I don't just want to waste time during the day. So right now I had to figure out what I'm going to do while he's asleep. How do I make this time uh, productive? So since my skits are my main thing, I um I came up with ideas, I brainstormed a bit, put some stuff down on paper, and I feel good about that. One of my other gigs is to write scripts for a YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I ghost write scripts for a YouTube channel, so people are watching that channel not knowing that I wrote the script for them. I did a little bit of that, but now my wife always complains that the house is dirty. I want to help her out, so we're going to clean the house. I would love to do a deep clean, but knowing my son, he is not gonna stay asleep that long. So we're gonna work on the uh, the shower, vacuum the house a little bit. Um, but first, the stupid litter box. Ever since my wife got pregnant, I took over the litter box duties and I never gave them back. I don't know why. That's just how it stayed. And there's the crappy thing about the litter box is that no matter how many times you clean it, no matter what you do, you wake up and the thing looks like there were nine different cats in the, the litter box. I, I know I'm not looking at the camera. I haven't vlogged. I haven't vlogged in a very long time, so I'm rusty with how vlogging works. There is a level of anxiety because I know when he wakes up, I have to give him lunch, but I also know I'm gonna be dirty after I clean. So it's like you gotta fit everything in. Look at how dirty the cat, cat water bowl gets. Just little things like this to add up around the house. Especially when you have pets. Like it, when you have pets and a kid, it changes everything. Look at that, cat dry food. It's like if you don't move things, you're never gonna see it. While I do all this, I have to keep looking at the monitor. I think that when my baby was born, you know, that newborn phase, me and my wife gave ourselves so much slack and like, okay, let's just focus on him. And you get into this habit of like, nothing else matters, whether it be cleaning, your own self-maintenance and all that. So it, it took some time before we could get back to actually like, okay, let's do a deep clean on this house. Let's do a deep clean on us. You know what I'm saying? I know some would say that it's um, impossible and irrational for me to do everything around the house, but I like to see my wife relax. I guess that makes me a simp, but uh, 
I don't know, I just like to take everything off her hands so that when she does have to do something, she's not overwhelmed. That makes sense. I would rather be overwhelmed. I enjoy it. I don't know why. If your man does it occasionally cook and clean, and I say occasionally to be generous, because I know a lot of men just are bad at that, but if he's not attempting or occasionally doing it to help you, why are you with him, huh? Money? He better be good in bed at least, right? Because this ain't hard. It's not hard. It's hard, but it's not hard. What type of relationship is it if there's no give and take? All right, what? He bought you a whole house or something? Is that it? So he bought you a whole house and he doesn't have to cook or clean. He doesn't have to cook or clean in it. He bought it. That's that's fine, right? All right. I think I'm done cleaning. Um, I'm going to change the sheets in the bedroom because that's another thing my wife complains about. Not complains, but feels bad when she can't get to it. Um, shower, wake the baby up, feed him hopefully before I have to pick my wife up. And that's the agenda. Sheets, sheets, sheets. I guess these are sheets. Of course. Right after I did it, right? See, while I was just cleaning right now, I came up with a skit idea. And, and it just pops into my head. Like, it doesn't always have to be like, what comes next? It's just more of like, oh, imagine Melissa did this. Or imagine Joey had to deal with that. And that's how it pops into my head. I don't necessarily think of like, what would be a good plot twist? Or what comes next in the story? It's always just the idea, and that's how my brain works. When I'm doing something like cleaning or whatever, the idea comes in, I write it down, it becomes a skit. That's it. The sheets have changed, by the way. Hey, let's go pick up your sexy mother. I filmed a vlog today, um, and I'm ending it with you. Nice. So what do you have to say to end it? Uh, have a great day. <laughs>